Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today in this video we are going to see how to make this beautiful rectangular table runner or table center piece pattern. So first let's see the measurement for our project. So this one measures about 19 inches. Here 19 inches which is about 48 centimeter. And for making this doily, I have used 3 ply acrylic yarn in these two colors. And crochet hook for this project, I have used a size 4, which is a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook. So, this is a very beautiful project. So, let's get started. First I am starting with the white yarn, going to make a slip knot and we are going to work 36 chains, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So like this we are going to make a total of 36 chains. So here I have made 36 chains. Now I am going to make a double crochet into the 4th chain from the hook. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So in the 4th chain I am going to work a double crochet. So double crochet. Then double crochet into the next 2 chains. 1, and 2. So here we have 4 double crochets including the first chain 3. Then chain 2 we are going to skip 2 chains 1, 2 and double crochet into the next chain. So double crochet then double crochet into the next 3 chains. So 2 then 3 and 4. So we have 4 double crochets again here. Then again we will chain 2, 1, 2, skip 2 chains and work 4 double crochets. 1, 2, Three and four. So four. So like this we are going to repeat the same pattern until here. So here I am at the end of this round. I have made four double crochets. Then for the next round we are going to chain four. One, two, 3, 4 and we are going to turn our work like this yarn over I am going to skip the next 2 stitches and double crochet into the 3rd stitch so that is our first chain 2 space then we are going to fill this next space so work 2 double crochets in the space 1 2 Then double crochet into the first stitch. So this is just like fillet crochet. So I have filled this space. Then we are going to make the next chain 2 space. So chain 2. Skip 2 stitches and double crochet into the third stitch. Like this. Then work 2 double crochets in the next space. 1. 2. Then double crochet on top of the first stitch. So we have filled this space. So like this we will repeat. I will meet you here at this end. So here I am near the end of the round. We are going to make our last chain 2 space here. So chain 2. Skip.
skip two stitches and double crochet on top of this first chain three so here make a double crochet so that's our space so we will continue with the next round chain three turn the work and work two double crochets into this chain two space one and two then double crochet on top of the first stitch so we have filled our first space then chain two skip two stitches one two and double crochet into the third stitch so that's our chain two space then fill the next space work two double crochet into the chain two space one and two then double crochet on top of the first stitch so like this we are going to repeat i'll meet you here at this end so here i'm near the end of this round so we are going to work two double crochets into this chain two space one two and work a double crochet into the third chain here so here one two three into the third chain you are going to make a double crochet and finish this third round So that's the end of our third round. So for the next round, chain four, one, two, three, four. Turn the work. Skip two stitches, one, two, and double crochet into the third stitch. Then work two double crochets into the chain two space, one and two. Then double crochet on top of the first stitch then chain two skip two stitches and double crochet into the third stitch so like this we are going to repeat the same pattern and finish this round so here we have one two three four rounds so like this we are going to make a total of 31 rows so i'm going to finish all the 31 rows using the same pattern so here we have finished our 31 rows so let's start with the next row i'm going to join the next row in this fourth row here we are going to join the orange yarn make a slip knot and pull the yarn through here so here we will start the next round so chain 3 1 2 3 which counts as a double crochet then work two more double crochets into the same space 1 and 2 so here we have three double crochets including the first chain 3 then we are going to chain 2 and into this next chain two space we are going to work two double crochets one two and we are going to go into this space between the two double crochets so here between the first and second double crochet we are going to make four double crochets one two three four then we are going to make a increase into the next double crochet so here on top of the next double crochet we are going to work two double crochets which is a increase one and two into the same stitch then work one double crochet into the next stitch here one double crochet so here you can see we have work like this in this corner then chain 2 we are going to skip the last stitch and work 3 double crochet into the next space 1 
two, three. Then chain two and work three double crochets into the next space. One, two, three. Then chain two and work three double crochets in the next space. One. Two, three. Then chain two, three double crochets in the next space. One, two, three. Chain two. Then here work two double crochets. One, two, three. Sorry, work three double crochets. And here we will do the same like the other corner. So chain 2. We are going to skip 1 stitch and work 1 double crochet into the next stitch. Then work 2 double crochets in the next stitch which is the increase. So 1 and 2 in the same stitch. Then between the first and second double crochet, we are going to work four double crochets. One, two, three and four. Then work two double crochets in the chain two space. One and two. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 double crochets. Chain 2. Work 3 double crochets into the next space. 1, 2, 3. Then chain 2. Work 3 double crochets in the next space. 1, 2, 3, chain 2, then 3 double crochets in the next space, 1, 2, 3. So like this we are going to repeat this same pattern on this side and we will work the next two corners in the same way like these two corners we are going to continue the same pattern and i'll meet you here at this end so here i'm near the end of this round i have made chain two now i'm going to make a slip stitch on top of the first chain three so here into the third chain i'm going to make a slip stitch and finish this round then I am going to chain 1 and cut off the yarn. We will start the next round with the white yarn. So this is the end of this round. So for the next round I am going to join the white yarn in here in this chain 2 space. So make a slip knot in the white yarn and pull the yarn through the space like this. Chain 3 which counts as a double crochet then work one more double crochet into the same space. So we have two double crochets here then we will work the corner. So work one double crochet in the first stitch then increase in the second stitch. So one and two in the same stitch then work one double crochet into the next stitch then increase in the next one one and two in the same stitch then one double crochet in the next stitch then increase in the next stitch one and two in the same stitch then again one double crochet 
in the next stitch then increase in the next stitch so increase then one double crochet in the last stitch then work two double crochets into this chain two space one and two so here you can see we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen double crochets in this corner so then we will chain two work three double crochets into the next space one two three then work two chains and three double crochets into the next space one two three then chain two and work three double crochets into the next space one two and three then chain two work three double crochets in the next space one two three so then chain two and in this last space before the corner we will work two double crochets then we will repeat the same pattern like the last corner so one double crochet in the first stitch then increase in the next stitch then again one double crochet in the next stitch increase in the next stitch then again one double crochet then increase into the next stitch then again one double crochet then increase in the next stitch then one double crochet then into the chain two space we will work two double crochets one and two so here's our corner we will have 17 double crochets then chain two work three double crochets into the next space one two three then chain two work three double crochets into the next space one two and three then chain two work three double crochets into the next space one two and three so like this we are going to repeat the same pattern on the sides and we will repeat the corners in the same way like we did at the other end and we will continue the same pattern and finish this round in here so here i have finished this round and cut off the yarn so for the next round i am going to join the orange yarn in here into the second space from the corner so i'm going to make a slip knot in the orange yarn and pull this through the space then chain three two three which counts as a double crochet then work two double crochets into the same space one two so we have three double crochets then chain two and work three more double crochets into the next space one two three then we are here at the corner so chain two and we are going to skip the 
first two stitches one two and double crochet into the next three stitches one then two and three so we have three double crochets here then we are going to increase in the next stitch so here increase one and two in the same stitch then work one double crochet into the next two stitches one two then increase in the next stitch one and two in the same stitch then work one double crochet into the next two stitches one two then increase in the next stitch one and two in the same stitch then work one double crochet into the next three stitches one two and three so that's our corner so here we have skipped two stitches then work three double crochets increase two double crochets increase two double crochet increase then three double crochets so that's our corner for this round then I'm going to chain two and skip the last two stitches and work three double crochet into the next space one two and three then chain two three double crochets into the next space one two and three then we will repeat the same pattern until this corner so here we are at the next corner so chain two we are going to skip the first two stitches then work one double crochet into the next three stitches so one two three and then increase in the next stitch then work one double crochet into the next two stitches one two then increase in the next stitch then work one double crochet into the next two stitches one two and increase in the next stitch then work one double crochet into the next three stitches one two three so that's our second corner then we are going to chain two skip the last two stitches and work three double crochets into the next space two three chain two work three double crochets into the next space one two three chain two work three double crochets into the next space one two three so like this we are going to repeat the same pattern work the other two corners in the same way and we will finish this round in here so here i have finished this round and cut off the yarn so for the next round i am going to join the white yarn in here into the first space near the corner so here we are going to make a slip knot in the white yarn and pull this through the space then we will start from here chain 3 
which counts as the double crochet then work another double crochet into the same space so we have two double crochets here then work one double crochet into the first three stitches one two three then increase in the next stitch so one and two into the same stitch then work one double crochet into the next two stitch one two then increase in the next stitch then work one double crochet into the next two stitch one two then increase in the next stitch then work one double crochet into the next two stitch one two then increase in the next stitch then work one double crochet into the last three stitch one two three so three then work two double crochets into the chain two space one and two so that's our corner for this round so we have two double crochets then three double crochet increase two double crochet increase two double crochet increase two double crochet increase then three double crochets and two double crochets into the chain two space so like this we will repeat every corner chain two and work three double crochets into the next space two three then chain 2 work 3 double crochets into the next space 1 2 3 so like this we will repeat till this last corner so here we are near the next corner so chain 2 and work 2 double crochets into this last space 1 2 then we will work 3 double crochets 1 2 3 increase in the next stitch then work 1 double crochet into the next 2 stitches 1 2 increase in the next stitch then again work two double crochets one two increase in the next stitch increase then again work two double crochets one two increase in the next stitch then work three double crochets one two and three then work two double crochets into the chain two space one and 2 then we will repeat the same pattern chain 2 work 3 double crochets into the next space 1 2 3 so like this we are going to repeat the same pattern so repeat the same pattern around repeat the corners in the same way then finish this round in here so here i have finished this round and cut off the yarn so for the next round i'm going to join the orange yarn in here into the second space from the corner 
so we are going to join the orange yarn so make a slip knot and pull this to the front we will start from here so chain 3 2 3 which counts as a double crochet then work 2 more double crochets into the same space 1 and 2 so we have 3 double crochets here including the first chain 3 then chain 2 work 3 double crochets into the next space 1 2 3 then chain 2 so we'll work the corner we are going to skip the first two stitches and then work one double crochet into the next six stitches one two three four five six and then increase in the next stitch so one and two in the same stitch then work one double crochet into the next three stitches one one two three then increase in the next stitch 1 and 2 in the same stitch then work 1 double crochet into the next 3 stitch 1 2 3 then increase in the next stitch 1 and 2 then we are going to work one double crochet into the next five stitches one two three four and five then we are going to skip the last two stitch so that's our corner so we have skipped two stitch then six double crochet increase three double crochet increase three double crochet increase then five double crochets so that's our corner so here we are going to chain two work three double crochets into the next space one two three then chain two work three double crochets into the next space one two three so like this we will repeat till here so here we are in the next corner so we are going to chain two skip the first two stitches and work six double crochets one two three four five six then increase in the next stitch then work three double crochets one two three then increase in the next stitch then work three double crochets one two three then increase in the next stitch then work five double crochets one two three four and five 
फाइव देन स्किप द लास्ट टू एंड वी विल चेन टू एंड वर्क थ्री डबल क्रोशेज इन टू द नेक्स्ट स्पेस वन टू थ्री so like this we are going to repeat the same pattern around work the other two corners and finish this round in here so here i have finished this round and cut off the yarn so for the next round i'm going to join this white yarn here into this first space from the corner so make a slip knot pull the yarn to the front chain 3 which counts as a double crochet then work one more double crochet into the same space then here we are going to work one double crochet into the first seven stitches one two Three, four, five, six, seven. Then increase in the next stitch. It is one and two in the same stitch. Then work four double crochets. One. Two, three, three, four. Then increase in the next stitch. One and two in the same stitch. Then work four double crochets again. One, two. Three, four. Then increase in the next stitch. Then work five double crochets. One, two, three, four. Five. Then work two double crochets into the chain two space. So that's our corner. So we have two double crochets. Then seven double crochet increase. Four double crochet increase. Four double crochet increase. Five double crochet. Then two double crochet in the space. So that's our corner. We are going to repeat the same. So chain two, three double crochets into the next space. Two, three, chain two, three double crochets into the next space. One, two, three, chain two, three double crochets in the next space. One. Two, three, chain two, three double crochets in the next space. One, two, three, then chain two, and we are going to repeat the same corner here. So we will repeat the same seven increase four increase four increase and five. Then two double crochet. So we are going to repeat the same pattern around and finish this round in here. So that's the end of the part one of this video tutorial. So I will post the link for the part two in the description box below. So you can go there, check out the other video, and finish this project. So thanks for watching this video, guys.